So I challenged you guys to pick my makeup and you guys did not disappoint. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Had another new intro. I just like switching up the intro because it keeps it spicy for you and for me. Because, like I said, we've been in a four, four and a half year relationship, and you know, we got to keep the spice going on. <laughs> so, about a week or so ago, I challenged you guys to pick my makeup on a makeup live, and y'all did not disappoint. I'm gonna be doing this series every single month because I just frankly find it so fun. Because, one, it's so fun to see what you guys pick, but two, just hanging out with you guys it's the coolest thing oh my god it's the coolest thing hanging out with you guys i absolutely freaking love it you guys are so amazing so here is the list right here i highlighted all the winners and oh my god don't look at my chicken scratch i have messy handwriting i've had my whole life it is what it is so i gave you guys five products in each category and i told you guys in that live that every single month i'm going to switch it up and I'm going to. There's going to be some months where you're just going to get a dewy or matte face, a luxury primer or drugstore primer. Like we're going to switch it up every month so that you never know what you're going to get because like I said, we got to keep the spice going. Also, it's Tuesday, which means that that is going to be happening. But you know what? We have to just live with it. So Diving into the products, we're going to start off with the eyes. In the eye category, I challenged you guys to pick my oldest ColourPop makeup, my oldest Melt Cosmetics makeup, my oldest drugstore makeup, my oldest high-end makeup, and my oldest Morphe makeup. And y'all came in through this one so hard, it was pretty unanimous, that the winner of the category was going to be my oldest high-end makeup. So then I thought, okay, what is my oldest high-end makeup? And then I realized what it was and I kind of laughed at it because you guys know how I feel about this brand. But of course, of course, this would be the oldest. So my oldest high-end makeup palette is the Pat McGrath Labs. This is the Mothership Subliminal Dark Star Palette. This is my oldest high-end makeup. And granted, I actually have more palettes in my collection that cost more money than this palette did. I think this palette's like 60, 70 bucks, right? but I have more expensive palettes. However, this is my oldest high-end makeup. This is actually my first luxurious palette. This is my first luxury palette that I have ever owned was this palette right here. And I didn't even buy it for myself. My sister bought it for me for Christmas before she left. So no, not before she left. My sister bought it for me in Christmas of 2018. 2018, my sister bought me this palette and a Kristen Dominique palette. I'll never forget that. And I remember I actually did a video on this. Don't go looking for that video because oh my god that video is it's atrocious <laughs> okay so i'm gonna quickly just put down my p louise on my eye and then we're gonna play with this palette like i said it's been so long you guys know that i am not the biggest fan of pat mcgrath you know it's not necessarily the br it's not exactly the product it's just more the brand itself i still won't forget how horrible the customer service was and how i had a fight to get a refund on my palette and if I ever do want to get anything from Pat McGrath, I will 100% just go through Sephora. And I've also been seeing that you guys have been letting me know that like if there have been, you guys will let me know that Pat McGrath has actually been ending up inside uh, TJ Maxx. So if I ever want anything from the brand, I kind of would just go there. Although there is this one red lip that I really want, but every time I go look for it, it's just like never available. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this palette. Like I said, it's been a long time. I don't even remember the type of look that I did with this palette. That's how long it's been. I wonder like what look I did. I don't know. I'm going to do something very easy because like when I look at this palette, I'm not inspired. Like look at this palette, guys. I'm not inspired to create looks. So I'm just going to go into like this gray shade right here. And we're going to do like a really easy, like pretty like halo eye look today. At least that's what I'm going to try to do. Um can't guarantee it's gonna be nice but we're just gonna try so i'm just gonna lay this gray color down and we're gonna do something pretty simple because of the fact you guys also told me that i am not allowed to wear lashes and whenever i do any type of like dark eye look i love to wear lashes because i just feel like my lashes um kind of blend in with the eye look and you guys voted that i'm not allowed to wear lashes so we're gonna have to make do with what i have and make this work although i will say this is actually really pretty gray or a smoky gray. It's really nice. Before we worry about cleaning that up, we're going to go into like this really pretty like gold shade right here. 
And we're gonna put that right in the center. I'm surprised that this still feels as creamy as it does because like I said, it's been since 2018 since I played with this palette. I just never wanted to part with it because my sister did get this for me as a gift. So I just feel like I don't know I can never part with it because of that because I do have kind of like sentimental values to it and have attachment to it because I have attachment issues apparently I never learned how to let things go so yeah um I, I feel like I would wouldn't want to let this palette go because of that I don't I don't really know how else to like make this like pretty um maybe I could take a little bit of the blue, maybe just like very little, to blend it slightly, like like so, right? And just like kind of blend it. Okay, so like this is kind of like where we're at. Um, I did I did what I could with what I had, so I'm gonna do the other eye off camera, and then we're gonna come back and do the face because I'm so excited for you guys to see what one because. <laughs> it's kind of shocking to me. Okay, so now that both eyes are done, it's not bad. Like, it's generally not bad. I don't mind it at all. But, <laughs> I don't know. It's just not really, like, my, like, favorite colors to use. But we're going to make it work. So, moving on to the face. So, for primers, I gave you guys the option of Tarte Timeless Smooth Smoothing Primer, the e.l.f. Poreless Primer, the Tatcha Silk Primer, the Flower Beauty Primer, and the NYX Freeze Power Primer. <laughs> and y'all pick the Tatcha Silk canvas right here. It has been a hot minute since I've used this primer. I was in love with the Tatcha Silk canvas, but like the original one, not the liquid version of it. it smells the exact same. I think the reason why I really liked the other one is because like, I feel like it really did such a good job at like filling in the pores, making my face so incredibly smoothing. But then I like really do stop and think, it doesn't really do anything for the oil, but man, is it really good for making you have like a really soft, like baby smooth face. And that's what this is right here. Like this is incredibly soft. It feels so silky smooth. It smells amazing. And like whenever I smell Tatcha, I get flashbacks of me living in my one bedroom apartment over like down the street when I first, 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 first started my YouTube channel, like very, very first started my YouTube channel when I filmed in my living room right in front of like my patio and I had just a sheet behind me. It's all I had. I filmed my iPhone 7 and I just distinctly remember being able to buy like Tatcha. I think it was just, I think it was a silk canvas. I bought that and then I also bought um, the mask or like the moisturizer and I don't know how I was able to do that. It must have been like a Christmas gift to myself, a, a birthday gift to myself. I mean, I wouldn't normally have been able to buy that stuff back then. So it's very weird. But um, I will say it's, this is definitely not a bad primer. This is oil free, but it just, it feels very, very oily. So moving on to foundation. I gave you guys, again, five different options. You guys can choose from the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter Foundation, the NYX Blurring Foundation, a Chanel Foundation, a Flower Beauty Foundation, and the NARS Foundation. And of course, of course, you guys went all bougie on me and I love it. I love it. We went for the Chanel number one foundation. Now I got this foundation in a Poshmark mystery, Poshmark mystery box. And I only use this foundation, I think like twice. Wow, this smells incredible. I think what, it's like an 80 dollar foundation i don't know but i got it in that mystery box and i really enjoyed it when i tried it out um the person who made the mystery boxes her name is amy and she does incredible incredible mystery boxes i would love to get another one from her because she really puts like high-end products never used in the boxes and it's so crazy because like you kind of wonder like some of the stuff is like brand new. So you're like, all right, obviously you didn't go get this at TJ Maxx because it's brand new and you put it in the box and she just does a wonderful job. I love her mystery boxes and my God, this is a pretty foundation. Why have I not used this more? That's like almost like a perfect match. What the heck? Oh my God, it smells fantastic. It smells like rich people's skin and I freaking love it. Not that I know what they smell like, but I'm just saying. <laughs> So this is how it looks right now. This is such a beautiful foundation. I remember falling in love with it when I used it in the Poshmark mystery box. And again, I'm loving how it looks on my skin right now. It is so freaking pretty. It's like melting into the skin and it smells absolutely incredible. I don't know why I don't use this more often. 
uh, maybe I do. Maybe the reason why I don't use this as often is because I know how expensive this foundation is. I think it's like an $80 foundation. And I just, I struggle to pay that price for a foundation. But my God, is it beautiful. I really should use this more often. So for concealer, you guys, I gave you guys five options. And it was between Winky Luxe, Fenty Beauty, Revolution, Makeup Revolution, Milk Makeup, and Maybelline. And this was so unbelievably close. It was voted, this one won by one point, one point. And it was the Milk Makeup Future Fluid Concealer. I know some of you out there did not like this concealer. I actually don't mind it at all. Um... But I also haven't really seen a lot of reviews as to why people don't like it. I think the one thing I'm not the biggest fan is like the Dofa applicator. I think there's something about it that I'm just not the biggest fan of. But yeah, this uh, it's not a bad concealer in the slightest. So we're going to blend that out. Anyway, I definitely want to do these videos more often because I just think it's so fun to like have you guys pick my makeup. It's something that's just a little bit different. I don't really see a lot of people doing that. I mean, I see people doing it like on Instagram where they're like having their subscribers pick their makeup on Instagram. But I feel like there's something just about it by doing it live that is just so fun. It's so interactive. And I actually talked about my Christmas giveaways. If I'm able to do Christmas giveaways this year, if I'm able to, because it just depends upon like finances and maybe if any brands want to like sponsor or host it, it really just depends. I want to do something different in my life. God, this foundation smells so luxurious. Like it's making my sponge smell absolutely divine in my life. I talked about how I think it'd be kind of cool. If instead of doing my giveaways, because I always do them over on Instagram, and I do like a really cute little reel with like Christmas music, and I make it look like it's snowing with a really pretty background. I love how it looks, but it also takes hours upon hours and hours to film. Just, you know, for like a 30 second reel, it takes hours. <laughs> but I, um, I'm thinking about doing something a little different. I thought it'd be kind of cool if this year for Christmas, I have to figure out how to do it, but this year for Christmas, instead of doing like, my Christmas giveaways over on Instagram, I go live on YouTube and I do my Christmas giveaways over there or over here. I feel like that'd just be really cool. I know that you guys didn't pick this, but I'm just gonna set my eye makeup really fast. We're just gonna go in with the Jacqueline really fast. But I just feel like it'd be really cool if I went live on my YouTube channel and I went, I did my Christmas giveaway live like that day. So I'd be live for like four to five, possibly six hours. We'll play music, to the best that I can without getting demonetized. I'll wear like a Christmas ugly sweater. I'll have cookies and we can do my giveaway over there. I feel like that'd be like a lot of fun. I think a lot of fun us to hang out and it'd be a great way for me to see like your guys' reaction to winning the prizes and like getting everything live and just, I feel like it'd be so much fun. So that's something I'm definitely contemplating doing. I just have to figure out how to make it happen because it's not like it's easiest thing I had to figure out. I, I'm looking for a certain program that's going to make the winners, like it's going to generate the winner and we're going to figure it out because <laughs> on Twitch, I know how to do it, but on YouTube, it's different. So for, so for bronzer, I gave you guys the options of the Physician Formula Bronzer, the Jaclyn Cosmetics Bronzer, a NARS Bronzer, a Rare Beauty Bronzer, and an Essence Bronzer. And you guys picked Miss Rare Beauty. It's been a minute since I've used this bronzer. Um, I don't, I remember I used, oh my God. Yeah. Look at how creamy this is. This is such, it's also really light. I realized that I have been using, I think because I'm you've been using like the Y, the LYS bronzer and like my NARS and ELF that I've been kind of using a little bit darker bronzers lately. So this one's really, really light, but I remember being so in love with this bronzer. Yeah. But I think I'm going to use... I don't know why I really like this brush for blending out bronzer. There's something about it that I just feel like it's just so nice. This is the F55 from Bling Brushes. This is from their Icy Queen collection. And there's just something about this particular brush. I feel like it just does a great job at diffusing and blending out the freaking bron blending out the bronzer. There's just something about it that is just so nice. Okay, so for blush, I gave you guys the option of Flower Nose Beauty, Pat McGrath, L'Oreal, Elf, and Mora Beauty. And again, this one won by one point. It was the Elf Putty Bronzer, right? Putty Blush in the shade Love Tahiti. And you guys picked this, which I was so surprised because you guys were picking a lot of bougie options and you guys picked this. And I was like, okay, switching it up just a bit. I really like that. So I remember I did this, I used this blush in a full face of trying out e.l.f. Viber products. And honestly, I don't remember how I applied it. Did I apply it with a brush? How did I do this? 
Did I do it with a brush? It doesn't seem like it's right with the... Did I do it? Did I do it this way? Mm, it's laying down the product. I just don't remember. Or did I do it with my sponge? Maybe I did it with my sponge. I think I did it with my sponge. Yeah. That is such a pretty blush. I wish I had like one of those skins where I don't have to like set the face because I see like influencers such as like Michaela Nagori over on TikTok who has like super dry skin so she can put on a full face and makeup without ever having to set her face with powder. So like whenever you put on any cream products, like look at how like it just looks like it melts into the skin. It just looks so nice. And then I come over <laughs> with a rigging setting powder and I just take away everything I just did. But that's also why I go back over with the powder, but we're not doing that today. We're doing exactly what you guys picked. And I just, I just wish I had like one of those skins that I could just work so effortlessly. And I just, <laughs> I don't, it's so frustrating. All right, so for setting powder, y'all had me dying. Okay, so for setting powder, I gave you guys the option of the Maybelline Fit Me, Elf, ColourPop, La Mer, and Ofra. And this particular setting product one like there was no other op like it was just so obvious so this one and you guys made me laugh because you guys picked the la mer setting powder my la mer is so low okay this is a hundred and ten dollar setting powder you guys picked it and i was like oh my gosh i don't have that much left because i genuinely have shown this setting powder so much love because it's actually fantastic not only does it literally blur the skin but it does a great job of kind of holding back the oil all day. And it just looks absolutely beautiful on the skin. I feel like it, it's beautiful for everybody. It's literally worth $110. And I would 100% pay for this again. And you guys have me laughing because you guys started donating to my La Mer replacement fund. And I just want to let you know, I will 100% use that for the La Mer replacement because this powder it's just so freaking good. And I don't know what possessed me to get it. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale back in like November of 2022. And I just fell in love with the setting powder. And I was like, there's no way I would fall in love with this like $110 setting powder. Bitch, I did. See, you see how that blush kind of like dissipated a little bit? I might go back in one more time just to top it off with whatever's left on my brush. But... <sighs> That's the beauty of setting the face. It's just, I have to set the face because otherwise, <laughs> you know, we could do that one day. That'll be one of the challenges next time. It's like, should I set my face or should I not? And like, you guys can like challenge me whether I can set my face with powder or I don't. That's going to be the next challenge. I already have everything like in my mind what I'm going to do. And I'm going to schedule it sometime this month for you guys to pick my makeup again because i just i love doing it and we'll definitely do another friday because you guys seem to really enjoy it being on a friday and i enjoy being on a friday too because it's just a great way to like end my work week and i just really really enjoy that speaking of that i know a lot of you guys have been asking how my job hunt's going it's still going i have not heard anything from anybody but i also haven't heard any no's so that's good and i know a lot of you guys ask me and i keep getting this question would i ever be a teacher I would never be a teacher like it's just it's not for me i don't like teaching um i'm 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 horrible at math absolutely horrible at math and it's just not a journey that i want to partake on i think teachers have the hardest job in the world besides being a mother and i admire them like there's no tomorrow they have the most patience the most caring self selfishness empathetic just beautiful, beautiful souls. And I, I admire teachers so much. I've had favorite teachers of mine for the rest of my life. I've had favorite teachers of mine that I'll never forget the journey that they put me on in life. But I just know that's not my journey. I just, that's not meant for me. I don't have that patience to teach somebody. Um, I don't have that drive and desire either. So I'm, I do apologize. I've, I've gotten that question so many times, would I be a teacher? And it's just not a journey for me, especially because I, I'm not kidding when I say I suck at math. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Okay. So for highlighter, I gave you guys the options of one size Hank and Henry Flower Beauty Milk Makeup and Revlon. And I was really surprised that this one won because it won by a couple points. And I thought for sure it was going to be Hank and Henry. But <clears throat> you guys pick the Revlon Skin and Likes um, Concealer uh, setting the highlighter right here. And you know what? I will say this is a really, really, really pretty highlighter. And I don't know if you guys saw, but I talked about in my new Makeup Release videos this past week 
about one positive thing that happened to me. And I let you guys know in that video that Revlon had reached out and they said that they loved my content so much and just love the support that I have shown them over the last couple of months that they wanted to send me a PR package as a way of saying thank you so much. And that was something that really positive that happened to me last week. And I'm still like giddy about it, but like I don't want to over celebrate because I have seen it happen too many times where brands say they're going to send you something and they never do. And I hate saying something like that out loud and then it never happens because then it's like embarrassing. Like remember when I told you guys I got on the ColourPop PR list? I got my first ColourPop PR package like six months later. <laughs> so I was like, oop. You know what I mean? Like I spoke too soon. I just, I don't know. I just, it's just hard for me to get excited until like I see it, but this is, this is really pretty. Okay. So to finish off the eyes, we're gonna go back into this palette one more time and we're just gonna do like a light wash of blue and gray underneath. And then I'm gonna put on eyeliner because y'all challenged me for a particular eyeliner and we're gonna use that today. So let me go ahead and use this blue one right here and we're going to use this and we're going to blend it out with the gray so i'm going to take this blue on this flat angle liner brush and i'm just going to press place this right here i feel like there's there's four shimmers and only two mattes in this palette i feel like that's a little bit difficult to work with all right then blend it out with that gray that we used earlier this gray is actually really pretty i'm not gonna lie it's super pretty okay so for mascara i gave you guys five options and you guys can ch could choose from thrive huda beauty maybelline lancome and milani and you guys pick milani like are you guys upset with me did i hurt you did i hurt you because i'm gonna declutter this bitch and y'all picked it for me to use and the worst part is i gave you guys the option of lashes yes or no and y'all picked no so we're going to use this shitty mascara and we're going to make it work because I don't have any other choice. I have to do what you guys told me to do because this is what you guys said. You guys said that I have to use this. And I literally was like, oh my God, why did I even give them the option? This is horrible mascara. It's just so wet. It's just, ugh. The only reason why I have this mascara is because Heather and I did a video a while back. Heather and I did a video a while back where we, um, like picked each other where we gave each other like our we had to do a full face of each other's most hated makeup and she hated this mascara and for good reason <sighs> okay so now that the mascara is unfortunately on <laughs> we're gonna go into eyeliner i gave you guys the choice between a white eyeliner a black eyeliner or a matching color so i don't really have a matching color i don't really have any gray I don't have gray. I do have yellow, but not gold. So I thought I'd do something a little different. I'm going to do somewhat of a matching color, but I'm going to do a color. So I know we have like a blue gold moment. So I'm actually going to go in with the ColourPop gel liner. This is like a aqua blue. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like this could complement this eye look. And if it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't. But I figured we would use this today because it is a colorful eyeliner or something different. And I just feel like you guys will be okay with this option over me just going for my typical like white and black choices so let me go ahead and line my eye i just feel like this could be really really pretty with the gray and the gold i just feel like blue would be really nice can you guys tell can you guys tell i can tell that it's blue i can tell that it's blue wow my eye is watering oh <laughs> okay so then for lips I gave you guys a choice of four different lip liners between Jaclyn Cosmetics, Lunar Beauty, ColourPop, and Blend Bunny. And you guys picked Lunar Beauty, which I'm excited about because he just rolled out with some lip liners. So I want to show you guys a combo that I have thoroughly been enjoying. And I hope you guys like it. So for lip liner, I picked the shade called Coco right here. It's like this really deep brown lip liner. It's so pretty. So we're going to line my lips. Okay, so I'm going to fill it in right here and fill in the corners right here. And then I'm gonna take my fingers and I'm actually gonna blend that out. Then for lips, I got to choose between a drugstore, high-end, or indie. So I am going in with the Lunar Beauty product because I get to choose and this is still indie. Uh, you guys can use code Allie when shopping at Lunar Beauty to save you guys 10% off, but I really do like this combo of um the liquid lip or the lip liner called coco and then following it by the lipstick called icon this is such a pretty pretty like combo i just i don't know i love the neutralness of it so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna fill this in like so and then i blend it out with my finger 
Okay, now that that's blend in for gloss, you guys had the option of yes or no. The majority of you guys voted yes, so thank you so much. So for gloss, we're gonna go in with the NYX. This is Milky Gloss right here. Love this gloss, it's so pretty. I know some of you guys didn't like it because of the smell, but I um, I really do love like the color of it. Like it's so pretty. All right, and then to finish off the look, we're gonna go back into this highlighter one more time, and I'm gonna do this as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. All right, guys, and this is the um, it's the final look. All righty, guys, so this is the final look. Um, <laughs> hot damn, y'all did good. Y'all did very, very good. I really like how this makeup look is looking, <laughs> y'all y'all did this y'all did this like holy shit i feel really pretty like i feel really pretty right now so i'm just gonna quickly run over just a list of products first off i thought first off i gotta keep playing with this this really just was so smoothing it's definitely not long lasting i will get oily wearing this but i forgot how smoothing it was and i made my makeup application so seamless this foundation why i don't use it more why Allie? it is freaking phenomenal it's a phenomenal foundation i love the way it looks i don't think it has like a full-on longevity but i'm gonna try it out today just to kind of see but like it looks so good it looks so good it's so like flawless it's a perfect color it laid down nicely it didn't oxidize too much it's super mattifying and i just why don't i wear this more Oh, it's because like $80, but oh my gosh, it was really good. Just like I still really do like the Milk Makeup Fluid Concealer. I know people out there don't. I really enjoy it. I forgot how beautiful the Rare Beauty Bronzer is. The e.l.f. blush, it is stunning. The La Mer. Now this, this I knew was a gem. This I knew was a gem. So this baby, she's running low. But we'll get you in place, it's okay. <laughs> and then the highlighter was a really good choice. I feel like it really just kind of blends in with the skin so smoothly. It just like melts in and matches the eye looks. The lip products were absolutely fantastic for you guys to choose. Even this palette, y'all, I did not have high hopes when I saw this palette because I was like, oh shit, like what kind of eye look can I do wearing this? But I don't know. I feel like the, the smokiness with like the gray and the gold and a little bit of the blue is just so freaking pretty. I'm really liking how it looks. It's like very like simple smoky and elegant I, I i just i really do enjoy it i think me picking like um like a blue eyeliner was definitely way to go although i feel kind of bad because it kind of comes off white but like it's blue it's blue i promise i think the only bad choice that you guys picked for me was the milani tubing mascara and not wearing false lashes but other than that you guys did so freaking good oh my god you guys did so good i love the way that this came out this is why i love doing this series because you guys are challenging me one to step out of my comfort zone and to allow you guys to pick my full face of makeup which is so much fun but two you guys are having me rediscover gems that i have in my collection as you guys know i'm trying not to over consume makeup because i have way too much of it as it is and i'm kind of on a low buy slash no buy at this time and you guys are allowing me to rediscover products that i forgot i had and it's just a great way to not be wasteful and i just i don't know it was so fun i really think you guys knocked it out of the park you guys you guys did such a good job with this and i cannot wait to do this again so yeah guys that is it for today's video guys if you guys enjoyed today's video please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys have not already said to post four to five videos every single week make sure you guys head over to my other channel it's r for the life you guys get to see my cool wonderful adventures my amazing husband Corey. and as always the biggest thing you goes these beautiful wonderful page members you guys over here thank you guys so much for everything and to my subscribers and viewers thank you guys so much for being here whether you guys like this video you guys thumbs down this video you guys subscribed you guys did not subscribe either way thank you guys so much for being here i love and appreciate each and every single one of you so with that said guys i love you and i'll see you guys in my very next video